Hi, Mr. Richards here, and today's grade six practice problems review, unit five, lesson one, using decimals in a shopping context. May had $14.50. She spent $4.35 at the snack bar and $5.25 at the arcade. What is the exact amount of money that May had left? Well, if we take the amount she spent at $4.35, and add that to the $5.25 from the arcade. 5 plus 5 is 10 for those pennies, 10 cents. The 1, 3, and 2 add up to 60 cents. No more carrying, and then we have here $9.60. Now, don't get tricked and go, ooh, $9.60, I see it right here. There it is, there it is, there's my answer. No, 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 slow down might be telling me the same thing. The question asks us what amount of money, the exact amount of money she has left. And so now we're going to take the $14.50 that she had and subtract the $9.60. Now make sure you line these things up with the decimal point. And 0 minus 0 gets us, well, 0. Can't take 6 dimes away from five dimes, so we need to borrow from the dollar. So we'll break open ten dimes there, and leaves us with fifteen dimes minus the six dimes is, well, nine dimes, so ninety cents here. Again, have to break into that ten dollar here to get thirteen ones, and thirteen minus nine is four dollars and ninety cents, and there's our solution at C, four dollars and ninety cents. And question two, a large cheese pizza costs $7.50. Diego has $40 to spend on pizzas. How many large cheese pizzas can he afford? Explain or show your reasoning. And as with a lot of things in math, there are a couple different ways to attack this question. And if you started just going, okay, well, $7.50 for one pizza. If I add another $7.50 to that, That's $15 for two pizzas. Now, if I double that, just thinking about it here, that's two more, right? That will leave me at $30 for four pizzas. Getting closer to 40. So if I did $7.50 more, that's adding another pizza, right? That's $37.50. 50 cents for five pizzas. Well, another $7.50 is going to put me over $40, huh? And so he can get five pizzas. It's one way of doing it. Another way of doing it is to go, well, $7.50 is pretty close, kind of, to $8. And if I did 40 divided by the $8, that's going to be about five pizzas. And so that's another way of looking at this is just to estimate. But either way, you can get about five large cheese pizzas. And that is indeed making me hungry. In question three, tickets to a show cost $5.50 for adults and $4.25 for students. A family is purchasing two adult tickets and three student tickets. So in our first question here, estimate the total cost. We're going to round up for the adult tickets. And so that would be six plus six for the two adult tickets. And then, well, we round it up for the Five fifty to six dollars. So for the four twenty-five to, let's call that four dollars to round down. Again, we're just estimating here, but six plus six is twelve for the adults. Four plus four plus four is also twelve for the student tickets, which is an estimate of twenty-four dollars. In question two, or B, what is the exact cost? Well, we're going to need $5.50 and 
And keeping this nice and organized is important. $5.50. $4.25. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50. $5.50.
and now we can just multiply straight across. We're going to end up with 3 times 5 is 15, 2 times 1 is 2, and you can keep it 15 halves or call it 7 and a half glasses. In question B, how many one and a half liters of bottle of water does it take to fill 16 liter jug? Well, same kind of logic here. We're going to take 16 and divide it by one and a half. So that would be 16 over one divided into those one and a half liter bottles, which is three halves. We can keep, change, flip, and nothing appears to be able to be simplified here when you look at 2 and 1 and 16 and 3, so just multiply straight across. 16 times 2 is 32. 1 times 3 is 3. Now, that is 10 and 2 thirds. And so you need 32 thirds or 10 and 2 thirds bottles. And just as a quick refresher, if you're wondering how do we get 32 thirds into 10 and 2 thirds, you take the numerator, 32, and see how many denominators you can get into that. Well, 1, and that's it, right? You can't get 3 into 2, so you're left with 10 and 2 out of 3. 10 and 2 thirds. Same logic then with 15 halves into 7 and a half. 2 goes into 15 7 times. 7 times 2 is 14. And so we're left with 7 and 1 half. Problem number 6. Use the grid to complete the problem. Let the side length of each small square on the grid represent half a unit. And that's really important to notice. Half a unit here. Draw two different triangles, each with a base of five and a half units and an area of 19 and one-fourth units. Or square units, I'm sorry. Why does each of your triangles have an area of 19 and uh, a quarter square units? Explain or show your reasoning. One of the first things I want to do here is to figure out what that height's going to be. If we remember our area formula for a triangle, area is equal to one-half the base times the height. And so if the area is 19 and a quarter, one-fourth square units, equals one-half times five and a half times your height. If I get these as improper fractions now, 19 times four is 76 plus the one is 77 fourths equals one half times five times two is 10 plus one is 11 halves times the height. So we have 77 fourths is equal to, now multiplying what we have here, one times 11 and two times two. One times 11 is 11. Two times two is four times h. Well, if 77 fourths is equal to 11 fourths times h, h is going to equal 77 fourths divided by the 11 fourths. And now we need to keep, change, flip. And we actually have some simplifying we can do here. The 4 and the 11, I'm sorry, the 4 and the 4, we can both divide by 4 and get 1 and 1. The 77 and 11 here, we can actually divide by 11 and get 7 and 1. So it's a lot of math there, but basically we get down to our height is going to be 7 units. And the height's going to be 7 units for both of these triangles. So we need to draw triangles that have a base of five and a half units and a height of 
7 units. Well, a height of 7 units is going to be, if each little of these blocks is um, half a unit, I need to have 14 of these. And 5 and a half, if I doubled, that means I need 11 of these. So my first triangle I'm going to sketch in here. And call this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got a problem. We're not going to be able to complete it on this grid if each small square represents half a unit. So for the sake of this, I'm going to change it um, simply because it doesn't fit, that it just represents one unit. And so we're going to go back to this five and a half and seven idea. I guess I, the, the grid provided isn't big enough. And so if I start then with the base of five and a half, one, two, three, four, five and a half, I can then have a height of seven. And I can go straight up for that if I wanted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I can connect this. Because here is my height of 7 and a base of 5.5. Then, if we do this again and draw another 5.5 in, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.5, what I'm going to do is be a little more creative here. I'm going to count straight up 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, which puts me right there. And now I can connect here and here. Because remember, the base and the height of a triangle have to meet at a right angle. And so as I draw in this height, this height here is still seven, and my base is five and a half. Now, if you were to count these, they do each have an area of about 19, not of, about, but exactly 19 and a quarter square units. Find each quotient. Well, sounds like we're keep, change, flipping, right? Keep, change, and actually flip. Almost didn't. Divide by 6 there and there to simplify this, and you get a 5 times 1 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1, so your solution here is 5. 5 6 divided by 1 6 is 5. Before we keep change flip, we need to get this as 7 6 divided by 1 12th, and then we can keep change flip, and then simplify, divide by 6, you get 1 and 2. And so 7 times 2 is 14, 1 times 1 is 1, so our solution is 14. And lastly, in our 10 6 divided by 1 24th, as goofy as that looks, we're going to have here 10 6 keep, change, and flip 24 over 1. Divide by 6, you get 1. Divide by 6, you get 4. And so you're left with 10 times 4 is 40. 1 times 1 is 1. And so 40 over 1 is just 40. And that is it for this grade 6 practice problems review on Unit 5 Lesson 1 using decimals in a shopping context. Good luck.